Hi, I'm John Vealy, CEO of Online Visas. Welcome to Immigration for Doctors series by OnlineVisas.com. This is the H-1B visa for doctors in the USA. There's five questions and answers to the H-1B visa for doctors and physicians. Um, the first question, number one, do I need an employer to file an H-1B visa for a doctor? Yes, a job offer for a full-time employment for a U.S. employer is required. That can be anywhere from a hospital, university, clinic, a doctor's office, an assisted living community, or really anything that requires a doctor that will be walk, working in a physician's capacity. What kind of degree does a doctor need to obtain an H-1B visa? Well, they'll need a medical degree from an accredited school either in the United States or outside the United States. If it's outside the United States, then it needs to be evaluated by an evaluation credential company. Does a doctor need a license to practice medicine to obtain an H-1B visa? Yes, a medical license from the state where the doctor will be practicing is required. However, due to the COVID-19 virus and the pandemic because of it, uh, some states have waived that um, and others have lowered the amount of time. So check with your state or contact us and we'll get you more information on it. Does a doctor need to pass any tests to obtain the H-1B visa? Yes, they need to pass the United States Medical Licensing Exam. There are three parts to that exam. Two can be taken outside the United States, but part three must be taken inside the United States. This can be difficult during certain times. You can also take it at territories of the United States. They also need to be um, able to pass the Education Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates, the ECFMG, which is how they uh, perform in speaking English. Number five, what is the annual quota for H-1B visas and what are the exceptions? So the quota for H-1B visas is $65,000 per 65,000 visas per year. There's an additional 20,000 for graduates of U.S. institutions in either the master's degree or higher. So since doctors are getting uh, doctorates, then they would be in that 20,000 person category if they received their degree inside the United States. The exceptions are they could work for a university or a nonprofit facility related to the university. That relationship has to be defined very closely. Often it's the same research, uh, I'm sorry, regents or owners of the same university would be a close enough proximity. How do you win this visa? Well, we use a brief. We write 20 to 30 pages with color photos, graphs, and a beautiful magazine style format. We tell an opening statement about the doctor, uh, the organization or facility that will be hire them, and the profession. Um, we'll use strategies based on the regulations, memos, and the case law um, as authority. For many doctors, this will lead to the EB-2 labor certification green card. But it also, uh, these are called uh, immigrant visas or green cards. The doctor, uh, can, if they work in a medically underserved area, they may also meet the EB-2 national interest waiver green card. Check out our other videos as part of this series to learn more about that. You can also go to onlinevisas.com and schedule a strategy session with us. We'll be glad to talk to you about your situation, whether you're a healthcare facility that wants to hire a doctor or a doctor wondering if they meet the regulations or how to get that visa. We'll be glad to help you with a flat fee and uh, pricing. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications if you want to stay in the loop. If you like it, please like and share and leave us a comment. This is John Vealy, CEO of Online Visas, and we're delivering dreams one visa at a time. Thanks. Thanks.